Painting glass can seem daunting at first. The trick is to paint the shapes you see rather than thinking of it as glass. This photo of a wine bottle not only reflects light but also shows the snow and, and window ledge in the background. To keep things simple, we'll be using a wine bottle without distractions of background or items reflected in the light. After I draw the wine bottle, I start blocking in the darkest greens of the bottle. The rim of the wine bottle is the most difficult part. Focusing on the shapes while maintaining the lines takes a bit of practice. And I still don't get it right every time, but close enough. My recommendation is that you work fairly large, I'd say about an 8x10 eight, eight for this painting, otherwise it's going to be very difficult working on the rim. Using the same dark green pastel, I'm lightly blocking in the color of the bottle. Now with the mid-tone green, I'm blocking in more of the color, laying it on top of the darkest green that I used before. We'll be adding a background color, so don't worry too much if you go out of your lines. You always cover that over with the background color. I'm now adding a lighter green where more light is reflected on the bottle. I don't always bring in white in the middle of a painting, usually I save it for the end, but occasionally I like to bring it in to help me see where I'm going with it. Um, this is the lightest reflection on the bottle. Now that most of the colors are down, I'm blending the pastels that are already laid down. Um, this gives it more of the appearance of glass. 
I'm gently rubbing it. Trying not to lose the edges. What you don't see is um, in between I will wipe my fingers with um, a paper towel or anything else just to keep them clean so I don't muddy my colors. I'm using a dark blue for the darkest spot I see on the bottle. Blending the colors on the rim a bit. I'm bringing in some light shapes that I see on the rim. Again, trying not to lose the original shape of it. Working on the rim is definitely the most difficult part, so take your time when you're working on it and be forgiving as far as any mistakes you might make. Um, if you're using sanded pastel paper, the paper itself is very forgiving, so you can reapply until you get the results you need. covered over a lot of my original lines, which were my guides, so I'm bringing in um, a black pastel pencil, and it works nicely to redefine some of the lines. I decided to use white as the background, not deviating from the photo. Um, redefining my lines a bit where they need definition and scumbling in the rest. I'm not going to be blending this with my fingers. I'm lightly dragging some of the white on the right side of the bottle where there's more light reflection. I'm redefining my lines a bit on the, on the left side.
As I said before, working on the rim is the most difficult part. Um, maintaining the shapes you originally had frequently get covered up by pastel and then you have to redo some of the um, lines. It's not my favorite part. <laughs> definitely want to be looking at your photo a lot while working on this to see if you have the shapes right. At this point near the end of the painting, I spent a lot of time refining details, adding some light where it needs to be added, um, and making sure that my values are, are correct. It's very important that you focus on values throughout um, your work on the painting. Hope you enjoyed this video and learned something from it. Um, if you decide to paint the wine bottle, I would love to receive an image of it. Just email it to me and I'll share it on my website. Thanks for stopping by.